there guys and gals this is Barbie Figueroa with Rise Marketing and Design.com and thank you so much for watching my video. Well in today's video I'm going to do an actual demonstration based on a question that I received in my comment section of one of my YouTube videos recently. Someone asked me can you create checklists with this ebook creator that I've been using and I discovered recently uh, called Scribble and absolutely yes you can. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually show you how you can easily create a word document uploaded to scribble and with a few little tweaks and modifications you can pump out lead magnets checklists ebooks anything you want in a relatively short period of time so if you are looking for a shortcut that will help you start getting lead magnets out there so you can start building your list then keep on watching <laughs> Guys and gals, again, this is Barbie Figueroa with Rise Marketing and Design.com. Please take just one little moment to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I would truly, truly appreciate that. All right, guys and gals, so I'm super excited to share this with you today. I want to demo it for you because I've been using the software, and honestly, I've been getting used to using the software as well because you have to learn how the different little things in the software works so that you can speed up the process. Now, right now, if you're watching this video, chances are you are in between, you know, should I outsource this or should I just do it myself? And honestly, it really depends on the amount of time that you have and the budget that you have. And honestly, how much creative control you want in the process. I just happen to be a very creative person and you know, I've got a pretty good clip of a business going on right now. So if I have an hour to spare, there's sometimes I just want to do things myself because I know they're going to turn out exactly the way that I want. So maybe for a real big, big project, you're going to want to set aside a budget to outsource. But if it's something quick like a checklist or a 30 page ebook or something pretty simple that you can knock out in about an hour, Scribble will help you do that. Now, if you wait to the very end of this video, or if you look inside of my description box, they are running, right now it's December 18th, they are running a 56% off sale on their software. So if I ever do an ebook video or a Scribble video or anything like that, always look at my description box. I will have the latest coupon code inside of that description box, all right? So with that being said, let's go in and let me show you exactly how you can start creating checklists using the Scribble ebook creator. Hey guys and gals, so this is the document that I'm going to be using to upload it into Scribble so it creates a checklist for me. It's called the top 10 ideas for freebies and giveaways and I'm going to be using that as my checklist free lead magnet. Now what you want to keep in mind is that if you're going to upload a document into Scribble, you can only do two formats. It has to be in either a .doc, which is a document, or a .txt, which is a text file. You cannot upload PDFs or any of that kind of stuff. It's got to be in a format that it can read, okay? So I use a Mac, and so I am going to go ahead and make sure that this is saved as a Word document. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to export this to Word, and I'm going to click Next. And I've already got it saved, so it's going to ask me probably if I want to save it again. So I'm just going to go ahead and export it. And I will just go ahead and replace that. And now it's saved to my Dropbox. And now it's ready to upload into Scribble. So let's go ahead and go into Scribble. All right, so here I am inside of the Scribble dashboard. Now they have the basic version and they have the professional version. Personally, I took the upsell because I wanted the extra templates. And I am going to be using one of the pro templates today because I was looking through all the designs and I found one that I really liked for this particular project. So we're gonna go ahead and use that one, all right? Now also just remember that I have, I'll, more than likely, I will have a coupon code right below this video. If the coupon code in my description box is outdated, once you go to their page, chances are if their software is on sale, they'll have a coupon code and you can just use the one that they have right there on their screen, okay? So um, I'm not even gonna call out the current coupon code because you might be watching this months and months and months down the line. So if it's not in my description box, just once you go to the page, if they have a coupon code there, just enter that at the checkout and that'll get you your discount, okay? All right, guys and gals, so let me go ahead and click on a project. So I'm gonna start a new project and I'm gonna click on the create the new project button. 
and I'm going to go and I'm going to select my design. Now, keep in mind, I did research when I was looking for lead magnet creations. I had like a little, I don't know, it was like a 20 page ebook that I really wanted formatted uh, beautifully. And, you know, I wanted it to look, you know, high quality. And it was going to run me anywhere from 50 to $70 just for like 20 pages. And, you know, I'm all for outsourcing, but I was like, man, you know, I could do this in like, I don't know, 20 minutes if I had the right software. See, before that, I was doing it manually in Canva. And yeah, doing it manually in Canva, it is more affordable because it's because Canva is only $12.99 a month, but it does take a little bit more time. I find that Scribble makes it a lot easier and it's just the formatting is already done and the designs are already there. So it's a lot easier to do in my opinion, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to scroll down and I am going to look for a really cool template that will match our 10 top freebies to give away checklist. So let me go ahead and I am going to select this one. Now this one is a pro template, so you would have to do the upsell. Otherwise, you can just find a design with the basic designs up in here, okay? Just so that you know. All right, so let's go back down. And I'm going to use, let's see, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use this one. Okay. So I'm going to call it top 10 freebies, 10 freebie giveaways. Okay. And we're going to leave it here on freehand editor, click on next. And then we want to upload a word text file. So let's go ahead and do that. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring in my document. And I'm going to click on finish. And now what it's going to do, it's going to create or generate, I should say, the initial design that we're going to have to go in here and we're going to have to make some modifications, but you can do it relatively quickly. Now, first things first, I basically always get rid of the table of contents because I find that, um, you know, if, if it's a checklist or whatever, it's not going to have a table of content. So all you got to do is go to pages over here, go to the table of contents, which is this one right here. It'll highlight it in green. Okay. Right here. And I'm going to get rid of it. So yes, I want to delete that. Okay. And then it's going to create a headline based on the file name. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and see exactly what it did. So 10 ideas for freebies and giveaways. I'm going to go ahead and leave this down here. I'll use it for something else. I'm going to bring this here, but I want to do some spacing in between here because it's too crowded. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in here. And then I am going to change the line height a little bit so that it looks more normal. And that looks fine. Now, what I want to do is I want to make sure that it's in this little blue area so it looks more... uh you know, within that space. So I'm going to go ahead again. I'm going to click the little gear and I am going to reduce the uh, font size. Okay. Until it looks the way that I want it. Okay. And I like that. So I'm just going to drag this over here a little bit. So begin, we can leave it here. Beginner's guide. I'll probably, uh, no, I'm going to get rid of it. 10 ideas for freebies and giveaways. I'm going to put here every beginner should know. No, or to generate more leads. To. Whoops. To generate more leads. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change out the um, line height a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and change out the font a little bit. Make it smaller. Okay, so there we go. All right, and then you can go ahead and change out the author name and then put by Barbie Figueroa and then center that. Okay. And then over here, this is the header in the settings area, your header and footer. Okay. So you can either display the header and footer or not display the header and footer. It's totally up to you. Okay. Um, and then you can also add a footer option. You can display, uh, show only page numbers, show without page numbers, show with page number. Okay. So we'll leave that like that. 
And then you'll see that this is kind of like overlapping. So you want to just go ahead and drag this up because this is part of number seven. Okay. And then here is the 10 ideas for freebies and giveaways. And then what you can do also is go ahead and add a link to this. So let's say, um, visit my website. Okay, that way you can also use your freebie to send them to your offer, like to your uh, funnel offer. Okay, and then we want to go ahead and put it in a new window and click OK. Okay, that way your freebie is also pointing traffic to whatever your offer is. All right, so then maybe you want to come over here and you want to bring this up a little bit and maybe bring this up a little bit. Okay, and then maybe you want to go ahead and make this bold. Make this bold. Make that bold. Bring up this paragraph a little bit. And if you hear those sounds, I'm getting notifications on my computer, so forgive that, please. And then we'll go ahead and make that bold. Make that bold. Make that bold, okay? And then um, you can go ahead and put, you know, for more information, check out whatever you want to put there, okay? And then that is basically it. So we're going to go ahead and save. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to generate the ebook. So let's click on new method. I want to open it up in a new tab so we can check it out. And now we have our uh, lead magnet. 10 ideas for freebies and giveaways to generate more leads. Okay, by Barbara Ferreira. And then, of course, I would put a little bit more like a little introduction or whatever, but you get the drift. The idea is you can upload a Word document and with some tweaking and modifications, you can create a lead magnet relatively quickly using Scribble. And it looks really nice. Then you can send people to whatever link you want to send them to by having a clickable link down here. And that's basically it. Okay, so um, inside of my free mini course that I've prepared for you as a bonus, I actually take you through the process of creating the ebook, finding really good headlines for your ebook. And I also teach you how to grab this cover, make it into a graphic that you can put on your funnel and how to, you know, actually give away that uh, lead magnet inside of a funnel. So if you happen to purchase Scribble with my link. Just send me your receipt through my contact form and I will give you a free copy of that bonus mini course. All right, guys and gals. Well, I hope that helped you. Also, please note that if you happen to purchase Scribble with my affiliate link, I've created a six video mini course that will take you through the process of creating your ebook, putting it in a lead magnet giveaway funnel, and actually getting your ebook out there using funnels. Again, if you purchase Scribble with my link, you'll also get access to that free course. All you have to do is once you purchase Scribble is shoot me an email at risemarketingdesign.com backslash content and send me a message with your receipt number as proof that you did purchase from my link. And I will go ahead and I will send you a free copy of that mini course. So anyway, guys and gals, I hope that this video helped you. If it did, please go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my channel and make sure to hit that notification bell if you want to be alerted the next time that I upload a video to my YouTube channel. So with that being said, this has been Barbie Figueroa with RiseMarketingAndDesign.com. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on another video. Bye!